Hello everybody and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander Throwdown. My name is Wheeler and joining me today we have a search. Thanks for having me, great to be here. And a Ben. Uh, and remind you that this I wasn't is... ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just mentally trying to get Serge's intro from North 100. I'm like, what does he do? What does he do? Yeah. Oh, and reminder that everything we do here is brought to you by patreon.com slash loading ready run. Because of you, Wheeler is the premier lands pilot of the format. But also, if you want more information on that, you can look uh, down in the description below. It has uh, information on the format and on the decks that we're playing today. Hoof. There it is. Come on, come on. Shaka, shaka, shaka. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Cradle Hoof. Oh, yeah? Um, Never heard of it. Tell me about it. Well, you play an elf. Okay. And you play another elf. Okay. And then you play a third elf. So you're playing elves. And then you natural order. Oh. Into Primeval Titan, Crater Hoof, Behemoth, <laughs> and Raised Forerunners. The world's your onion. Uh, Gruel, Ramp, Elves, Natural Order deck. I'm playing Natural Order, Strip Mine, Mox, Emerald, and Crop Rotation as my points. Mm. What about you? I'm playing Blue Moon. Which, okay. if you know anything about me, is kind of a like a heel turn. Uh, Blue Moon traditionally is a deck that I hate, or I love to hate. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not, there's, it, it, for those of you who don't know, it's a control deck that tries to attack people's mana bases through cards like Back to Basics and Blood Moon. So it's a blue deck that plays Blood Moon, Blue mm -hmm. Moon, mm -hmm. not, like, not like the cheese. Uh, there used to be a combo that this deck would play into uh, the Imperium. Help me out. Madcap experiment. Madcap, yeah. It's a platinum and, Imperium. And I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not that degenerate. Thank so, God. yeah, this deck has changed a little bit since the last time I've, I've seen it around. It's not as boomer control. I, I actually got this list from my friend Paul. Thank you very much, friend. By the way, I made a couple of small changes. Mm -hmm. I was looking for a Karanos, and it's just not in there anymore. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just shocked. Where are all my five drops and six drops and my sphinxes and stuff like that? There are a bunch of different ways you can play Blue Moon now. And like you can be really proactive. Yeah. You can be still proactive but bigger. Yeah. Um, I, I'm on the young peasy style of Blue ooh. Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, well, we rolled and I had an eight. I'm going yeah, first. Yeah, I know. Right, I got a ten. That's more than eight. Great. Prior to this, had you won the die roll ever? It kind of ever. I don't know. It, it felt... Well, it certainly feels like I've never won a die roll in my life. Okay. Oh, you just mean here today? Yeah. Uh, I think I won all the die rolls so far. Realistically, it depends on what order I hear them. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, the play order. I feel, I feel that in this in this series, this YouTube series, I win more of the die rolls and you win more of the games. So if you win the die roll, that means I'm due to win. Okay. Okay. Sure, I'll <laughs> agree to that. I'll agree to that. All yeah. right. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Let's have a good one. Yeah. Speaking of a good one, Noble Hierarch. Yeah, that's Go a ahead. good one. Uh, speaking of other good ones, um, Polluted Delta mm -hmm. into Ragavan. Stop. Let's go get us a Volcanic Island. Okay. Why don't you say it like that? Like we're going to a Street Fighter <laughs> stage. <laughs> Uh, your, it's your move, Yu-Gi-Oh. Only my mother's allowed to call me that. Um, I'm going to fetch... This energy is very different, and it's throwing me off. <laughs> uh, I am actually going to find a Bayou. Now, the, oh. the list here says it's uh, red-green. Did, it did you lie? No. No, I mean... No, no. I don't count death right as a as a, you know it's it's a splat it's a yeah exactly yeah. it's it's for death right but it's also for grist the hunger tide sorry what so uh, grist the hunger tide oh so three mana three loyalty as long as it's uh, not on the battlefield it's also a one one insect creature so this is why because this deck plays a lot of tutors okay and it's nice to have access to a uh, kind of the world's worst necrotol yeah in a way what does this do again oh god. So the plus I remember one. I remember a lot of discourse when it came out, and I don't remember anyone ever actually playing it. Oh, this this card is so hot. Okay, it's, it's, okay. Yeah, people have finally seen the light. Uh, so three loyalty. I can plus one to make a one one black and green insect, and then I mill a card. If I mill an insect, I repeat this and put a loyalty counter on it. Uh, minus two. I can sack a creature. When I do, destroy target creature or planeswalker. Then minus five. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of creature cards in my graveyard. Hmm. So I am going to plus one, Milagaric Wildspeaker, not quite a bug. Yep. 
uh, and make a bug. Fascinating. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Huh. This changes everything. Writes down island. <laughs> Man, imagine playing a deck that makes you think. Think. <laughs> this is the worst, man. Don't you play lands combo? The reason I didn't bring that one today. All right, so if I do that, that doesn't work. If I do, wait, no, that doesn't work. If I do this, it does? All right. Wooded Foothills. Yep. Mock Sapphire. Yeah. Young Pyromancer. Easy. Uh, I'm going to crack the Wooded Foothills uh, down to 18 yep. to get a basic mountain. I'm sure this is fine. I'm okay. Never be more okay. Flame slash your insect. Mm -hmm. I get a 1-1 one, one elemental token. Yep. Uh, I will attack your life points directly. <laughs> Got a 17. <laughs> My Kessig Wolf oh, run! Oh, good. No! And I have a treasure token. Jesus. Yeah. Is that a go? Would you like to Ancestral Recall <laughs> too? Thinking about it. No. <laughs> uh, you're fine. Okay. This is a hard turn to sequence. The Blue Moon, especially mm. nowadays, all your spells are cheaper and better. Yeah. So getting the configuration right can be a, a <clears throat> bit of a hassle. Pick up Grist. Yep. Mill a Fauna Shaman. Make a 1-1. One, one. Make a Bug. Yep. Three mana. Tap three. And play a Ramanap Excavator. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to then play my Bloodstained Mire out of my graveyard. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. Why is this deck so hard? <laughs> Well, it's turn three! <laughs> when you take blue cards and red cards. We're going to cast a third class Iconoclast. Uh huh. Yeah. So, two PZs. Two PZs. And then uh, one and sacrifice this treasure token. Uh huh. I'm going to Brazen Borrower Petty Theft, Bouncer Ramanab Excavator. Yeah. So, I get a Soldier token. And a second elemental. Uh huh. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. I could try and clear your Gree. Or I could, I know you got this stupid one, one, which is really frustrating. I'm a little bug. I'm just going to attack you. So well, I got five coming at you. I'm going to throw my bug in front of your Ragavan. That's fine. Take. And I will take four, or three, excuse me. Take three, yeah. Uh, End of your turn, I'm also going to fetch this. Yep. Down to 13. Grab a Zia Torres Proving Ground. Nice. 
cards in hand? Uh, I have two, and one in an adventure. Huh. You have a lot more cards in hand than I do. True. <laughs> Some of them are a little slow. I'm not really doing anything in this match yet. Uh, untap. Draw. Okay. Um, I'm going to tick up. Again. Again. Mill and make a bug. Forest. Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. Interesting. So three loyalty. Uh, when Minsk and Boo, Timeless Hunter, Heroes enters the battlefield, or at the beginning uh, of my upkeep, I may create a Boo token. Uh, the token has trample and haste. And then I have plus one, put three 1-1 one -one counters on up to one target creature with trample or haste. And then I can minus two, sacrifice a creature. When I do, Minsk and Boo deals... X damage to any target where X is that creature's power. And if the sacrifice creature was a hamster, I draw that many cards. And did you know, Minsk and Boo can also be your commander. Mm. So I'm going to put three counters onto my Boo token. Okay. And I think I'm going to pass. Uh, that is a bloodstained mire. Mm -hmm. uh, what is Grease uh, alt, if there is one? Minus five. Each opponent loses life equal number of uh, creature cards in my graveyard. Which is currently one? Currently one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack Minskin Boo. I'm going to block your two elemental tokens. Okay. M and B goes down to three. And my buck dies. Uh, I'm going to crack this, go to 17. Uh, basic mountain. I'll shuffle in just a second here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm going to cast it back to basics. Oh, yep. And then that is a non creature spell, so I get to make another soldier token. Uh, but young peasy's only instance and sorceries. Mm -hmm. uh, Sigle. Uh, untap two. Uh, I already have a Minsk and Boo. Draw. I'm going to put three 1-1 one -one counters on my Boo. Yep. Um, go to tap three and play Ram and F Excavate. Yep. Uh, I guess I should mill this grist. Or mill with grist. Sorry, first or? Before I go to attack oh, or sure. do anything else. Yep. I'm going to mill a priest of titania. Yep. Make an insight. All right, Thank so you. plus one on Minsk there. Yep. Uh, I'm going to then play this forest from my graveyard off a of Ramnap. Uh, tap didn't, one. I'm sorry, didn't you play the fetch land this turn already? No. No, because I had two tapped, and then I had That's two correct. Ones. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap one and play... I think you shuffled. Weird. Okay. Ignoble Hierarch. Yep. Uh, I'd like to go to combat. Yeah. So I'm going to attack you with uh, seven and two Exalted Triggers. Oh, my so God. So nine total. <laughs> Trample. Uh, okay. Uh, I go to eight. Uh, go ahead. All right. Untap. Untap. Draw. Fascinating. There's a lot more pressure on me right now than I thought there was going to be, which is kind of unfortunate. Have you thought about not doing that? Um, kind of, but I want to showcase these new cards. Uh, Misty Rainforest. Yeah. Is that Valk tapped? I didn't tap it last turn. When I cast oh, the yeah, yeah, Back yeah. to Basics, I cast it off those three. So Groovy. Yeah, we're going to leave that untapped there. Sure would be nice to have a Brazen Borrower right now. <laughs> Trample, eh? Yeah. So I had this great plan that I was going to take my time. I had this flyer for inevitability and I could ship down your planeswalkers, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't think that's happening. I think I might just be dead. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how do you can do. How do you deal with that? You don't. 
Oh, interesting. You know, okay. Hard. I'm I gonna mean, be honest. That's the first time I've I've sat across from Minskin Boo. It's uh, it's not fun. It's mm. quite. It, oh yeah, wherever legal. Um, it's really good. You questing beast is a good way. Well, to me, it's not very good. Go ahead. To me, it's bad. Oh. The double exalted was kind of nice too. Draw. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Play this land from my graveyard. Um, combat. Mm. Nine. Didn't, didn't even plus one at first, eh? The disrespect. Well. <laughs> Am I dead anyways? So I can like double block here. Yeah. So that puts me to one. Mm -hmm. Wait, if I do that, then I, I don't have a Misty Reinforce. That's awkward. Nope. I, I think you are you familiar with the minus two? Oh, what? There's more text on this card. Yeah. Sacrifice a <laughs> sacrifice a creature if you do Miskinbu uh, deals X damage to any target where X is that creature's power. Okay. So what you're telling me this remand that I have in my hand uh, and my ability to flash in a brazen bar isn't going to win me this game? I don't think so. All right, should we go to game two? Okay, yes, let's. <laughs> oh my god. So I'd heard Minskin Boo was a problem, but I'm going to be honest, that's my first time sitting across from a Minskin Boo. It's not fun. No. no. Well, that was kind of fun. Well, I, mean, I mean, I did get murdered by a hamster. Like, you know, yeah. can't feel too bad about that. Yeah, that part... On one hand, you're like, I can't believe this card exists. On the other hand, sometimes you're against someone that has like a... Ham Taro trading card as their boo token. You're just like, oh, that's <laughs> cute. That's nice. So, all right, let's let's talk about my lines there really quickly. Right? I did not pressure your grist, Gree. Uh, grist. I did not pressure your grist. Instead, I used Ragavan to try and connect on you, mm -hmm. get me treasure tokens, get me some card advantage, uh, so I could try and accelerate my board because I had the Brazen Borrower, uh, and then I just fell behind. But I don't, I don't know. So I was wondering if maybe. I could have much more aggressively traded resources to kill that Planeswalker. And then Minsk and Boo would have hit the board, but you wouldn't have had two Planeswalkers, you would have had one. I don't think I like Flame Slashing the Bug. To get the, the Ragavan in, just yeah. pass with Ragavan just and pass. Yeah. Just kind of like Ragavan might do something later. Sure. You might sneak, it might trade with something. Yeah. The treasure um, token was pretty important for like the development of my board because I wanted to double spell the next turn, but right. like. I could have I could have just been slower on everything, right? But the flame, yeah, it's just like you trade flame slash for a token that doesn't really do anything. That's fair. And I mean, the treasure, like I have a lot of one drops in this deck, which is kind of appealing. But I don't know. I think I like holding back. I like not. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. No, that's fair. Or did you have flame slash on turn one? Because on turn one, well, you. you played I went land noble hierarchy. Oh, I could have just flame slash passed. If you have the flame slash, I killed the kill the dork. Yeah, kill the just dork. kill the dork. Yep. yep. I feel it's so it's so weird in this particular matchup, the bolt the bird mentality. Because you have so many birds. Yeah. That it feels less It's like wastelanding a random land on an opening hand. Right. And it hoping you get there as opposed to actually seeing if it does anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, we, <laughs> we we both went ooh at the same time. Mine's a bad ooh. Was yours a good ooh or a bad ooh? Uh, mine's turned into a bad ooh. Oh yeah, I'm mulling. You mulling? Yeah, I'm mulling. Yeah, I'm yeah. Dry it, Arbor. Yeah, God hoof is strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even when you don't, I mean, that's the biggest thing is that they traditionally hoof always struggled with like having relevant four drops doing anything. Sure. Like, you had your Planeswalker plan, where you just play as many Garricks as possible, yeah. and then it goes to Reveler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stuff, stuff like that. Um, but they... It wasn't great. Mm. Like, it was fine, but you you don't want to be doing that. But we upgraded our Xenagos into a Minskin Boo. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, okay. We got, we got Questing Beast instead of Thrun. Uh, we have... Or Obstinate Baloth or yeah, whatever. You're yeah. like, discard me, please. Even just Elder Gargaroth instead of Thrag Tusk. It's just like, okay, I guess These I'll just evolution to that yeah. card. Yeah, I think there's so many different gears to that deck. You've got the mid-range plan. You've got the, obviously, the all-in hoof plan. Yeah. yeah. Not nearly as one-dimensional as some people make it out to be. Oh, interesting. Uh, On the play? I will 
Wait until you say whether or not you're keeping before I mulligan. Sure. I keep. Got them all. Mm. On that oh, I have to put one back, too, yeah. Sorry, you, you kept your mulligan. I, I kept my six. Yeah, so I also mulligan. have a six. Yeah. All right, uh, good luck to you, my friend. Good luck. All right, island, go. Forest, go. Island, go. <laughs> ah, you've fallen into Blue Moon's tempo, you fool. Taiga. Voyaging Seder. I will spell snare that. Okay. Go ahead. It's like bolting the bird, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wasteland your taiga. Okay. Go. Well. Oh! I have a land. Uh huh. But it's a dark depths. <laughs> go. Polluted Delta, go. Go. I will crack this and step for a Ravduel. <clears throat> God the Shrine. <laughs> How did you know? Ah, uh, well. Blue Moon splashing for white black for no reason other than to flex. It's for your flashback on Lingering Souls. Okay, oh. Steam Vents. So now I have the interesting problem of how quickly do I want to apply pressure. So I can I can be really slow and continue to be disruptive, or I can try and tap out for a threat. And that's... Well, now you're in a spot where you can play a threat, and then if I try to develop my mana, you can attack my mana. Yeah. You know? Would you like to cut? No, I'm good. All right, untap. Draw for the turn. I wouldn't mind a Blood Moon, though. <laughs> Land, uh, I'm going to cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Uh, yep. Uh, I don't have the 2-2 two, two Goblin Token, but I do have nope, a 1-1 one, one Goblin Token. Okay. Uh, which will have to be good enough. I'm going to say, go ahead. Yeah! No. Mm. Go. Untap. Draw step. This goes to two. You may discard up to two cards. If you do draw that many cards, I will discard two islands. Okay. I'll and draw. You draw two mountains. How did he know? <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, Bone Crusher Giant shock oh, your elf. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack you for two. 18. And make a treasure token. Yep. And I'm going to pass. Go. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. This goes to the third chapter here. If I had to guess where this game fell apart, it would probably be when I got my creature counter to my land blown up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a shot in the ah, dark. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Castle Vantress. Yeah. And then I'll attack you for two. Make another treasure token. 16. And say pass. And step. Uh, I have effects. <laughs> Your favorite words. Uh, we're going to dig through time. Exiling four lands, four manas. Yep. I'll take these two. Show me two counter spells or two removal spells and I'll concede. I have one counter spell and a shadow spear. I don't know. I only uh, have the one counter. I have one counter. All right, all right. Yeah, keep playing. I'll discard right. this and raise four runners. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I could, I mean, I could draw a Thespian Stage, um, like land Thespian Stage. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. You're up. All right. Untap, untap, draw. So I've got 
Dorat, the perfect pet. You mean Sprite Dragon? <laughs> uh, I, no, you heard what I said. <laughs> Dorat? Dorat, the perfect pet! Oh, not this one. Yeah. Yeah, Sprite, uh, sprite Dragon. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to cast a Shadow Spear. Mm -hmm. We're going to sack two treasure tokens to equip the Shadow Spear onto Dorat. Oh, right. Gets a plus one, plus one counter from that as well. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to cast Gush, returning two islands to our hand. Do you mind if I return two lands to my hand as well? And go to game three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So my hand mm, please. Uh, was pretty all right. Yeah. Uh, you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe it was, or sorry, six. I think it was this. And then I drew a bunch of non-land. Sure. But. I don't hate it. Maybe I should have... Uh, oh, no, sorry. Dark Depths wasn't in my opener. It was... Like, the Mulda 6, that's fine, right? This. Yeah, on a Mulda 6, it felt fine. Then I drew the Dark Depths. Right, oh, okay. so the, the spell Pierce and then into removal, removal um, Wasteland, eh? Yeah, I mean, I get mucked by Wasteland anyways. Sure. But you kind of have to take these risks, especially in this matchup. Like, yeah. If I go to 5 and keep a Dork Hand and you just Fork Bolt or something, then it's... Yeah. My um, the, the, my cards in hand were sensor, so I had like a mm. like a good, yeah. early disruptive counter spell there, uh, and um, faithless looting, and whatever two I drew off of gush as well. Yeah, but yeah, like I was, we're going to be applying some pressure there pretty yeah. quickly there. Well, I still feel good about bottoming dragon lord to Tarka there. So. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Mm -hmm. Some more lady Tarka is like, how dare you? <laughs> Um, okay, I'll go first. That's fair. That's all right. Yeah, as is your right. What do I need? Yeah, this is tough now, because I don't feel like we... Both of these games have been pretty one-sided, which honestly I kind of expect in this matchup, too. Yeah. It's like, you're going to you're going to overwhelm me, or I'm going to shut you down before you overwhelm me. Like, yeah. I think those are the only two states. The chances of a back and forth, because this deck doesn't... It kind of plays like tempo. It doesn't really feel like it's got a lot of stabilizers, right? Yeah. Like, it, it gets ahead and it shuts you down. Especially because you're, like, this is a far cry from the three mana counterspell Blue Moon builds. Yeah. And the, like, oh boy, deranged tournament on turn four. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said last time. Yeah. All right, I've got a, I got a keepable seven. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. All right, good luck to you. Good luck. I'm going to play a uh, trans not transformed. I'm gonna play Timber Crown Pathway, the flip side of Crag Crown Pathway. And I'll play Len Ralph. Okay, go ahead. Um, Polluted Delta, mm -hmm. we're going to go Volcanic Island into Dragon <clears throat> Rage Channeler. Ooh, the DRC. The DRC. Ooh, cut right to it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> go to you. Ooh. Also. Spe oh. Speaking of that, did you see on the comments of North 100 that the Grease was like, you summoned me. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. What up, Grease? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, Elvis Shark. Oh, no. Okay. Go ahead. Just you and cutting. Also, I played a Thespian stage. I'm not trying to just sure, slightly sure, sure. put that on the table. Just, just gonna slide that one through and no one's looking. Uh, I have this Unholy Heat for your Elvish Arch Druid. Yep. I also have a Surveil trigger here, so okay. we actually Surveil first. I will leave that on top. No. Um, I've got an instant and a land. I'll attack you for one. Thanks. Say go. Priest of Titania. I was like, I killed the elf, that's a problem. <laughs> nope. Uh, attack for one. Yeah, I'm at 18. Go ahead. All right, Wheeler. Now, I don't want to flex on you or anything like that, but did you know that you're not the only one with German cards? 
This stupid thing. <laughs> e, before we... Okay, play the card. Yeah, play the I, card. I... It's a German Sheevan Reef. Okay. Yeah. And, and Jealous? Well, out of curiosity, what set is it from? I, I think that's... Magic Origins? Origins, and that's, yeah. Is, that's the first set it was released in? Maybe, no, okay, but... Okay, take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really? That's... No, no, I'm proud of you for having a German... Are you? The card. Yeah. Are you proud of me? Yeah. It doesn't sound like you're very proud of me, Wheeler. No, no, no. I'm proud of you, and I get it. Like, I have a German volcanic island. FBB. <laughs> this is... You're too out of character. <laughs> Chilling shade. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-huh. Attack. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. God, I can't believe he fell for it. I got him. Got him. Uh, goo. Hmm. Multani's Acolyte. Uh, that's the draw card. Two minutes, you card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. Is it also an elf? It is. It is. Oh. Three. One. Uh, I'll float two green. And I'll cast, I don't know why I'm tapping it like this. I'll cast Paradise Druid. You can float two green and cast a Paradise Druid. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. I will use that two green to play nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll untap this. Sorry. Uh, I wasn't trying to bluff you. I was genuinely, if I'll, I'll, ta I'll cast this by tapping Priest of Titania. Okay. Floating one green. Sure. If you would like to respond. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Go you're ahead. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Draw. Genuinely not trying to goozle. Oh, oh man. Ooh. That good, huh? Well, yes and no. I missed a land drop for it, mm. which does not feel good. But it always feels good to cast a thing in the ice. Oh, ting the ice. Okay. Uh, I'll pass. Mm -hmm. So this has I'll put freeze counters on it with the correct color. Delightfully devilish. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for Multani Hackalite's Echo. Okay. I mean, it's worth a paying two mana for a mana, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Combat. Yep. Yeah. Attack. No blocks. Now I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah, I got a 16. <laughs> Free damage. I mean, uh, I don't know if you have a uh, Huntsmaster in there too. Comes down, does two damage to stuff. What? Huntsmaster of the Film? No, I have a Garrick Relentless though. Oh, see, that would have killed it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I feel I'll smart cast, about that. I'll cast Garrick Relentless. Yeah, okay. Um, so it comes into play with three loyalty. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have it fight your Dragon's Rage Shaman. Sure. So it then transforms into Garrick the Veil Cursed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> with two loyalty counters on it. And I will pass. I'm going to censor cycle and sure. a turn. Yep. <clears throat> For the love of God and all that is holy, I need another land. <laughs> you and me both, brother. You and oh, me both. but who will get it first? <laughs> I kid you not, I have a line in my head where I... Uh, sacrifice a creature to find Dryad Arbor. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. I like it. Uh, that that re removal spell would be great right now. Yeah. God, a Fork Bolt. My kingdom for a land or a Fork Bolt or both. Uh, I will say go. Actually, sorry. Can we... Uh, this is this is riskier, I, but I need to be a little bit more proactive here. I'm going to Expressive Iteration. Maybe that finds me a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, Expressive Iteration. That puts me to three. There's got to be a land in the top three, right? There's and land in the top three. And landers? Put one in your hand, one on the bottom, and exile the other. You may play the exiled card this turn. Put one of them into your hand. Mm -hmm. One of them onto the bottom of your library. Mm -hmm. And you may exile the other one. Mm -hmm. You may play the exiled card. Mm -hmm. So I've got this land, which unfortunately is going to enter tapped because yep. I only have two islands, which is unfortunate, but you know, so it goes. 
play it. That's fine. Um, ow, for red mana. Uh, I'm going to bolt your priest. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and say go. Thank you for the the the, the extra turn on the, the expressive iteration and there. It's like time. really risky. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flash in a scrub ranger. Yep. I mean, yeah, that would... Oh, my God, I'm so glad I killed that. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> oh. Attack with Multani. I take it. I take it. I'm a 13. I am going to sacrifice my Multani Zachary yep. to tutor for a creature. I wonder if that bolt saved me. Because I think, yeah, Scrib Ranger plus Titania plus a Tutor for any creature puts me in a lot of trouble there because you have a bajillion in one mana. You don't yeah. have any forests, though. Is it any land or just a forest to return? Return a forest. Yeah, okay. So it's... Okay. That's kind of cute. Um, I am going to find an Under Mountain... No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to find a Moloch. Oh, this is one of the 40k cards. Yeah, so X, red, and a green for a 2-2 uh, with Ravenous, which is if I cast it with X, five or... or and there's with X counters, and if X is five or more, I draw a card when it ETBs. Um, but when it ETBs, it fights a creature you control, and if that creature would die, I exile it instead. So it's kind of a nice little addition. Yeah. The deck. I'm going to try and Moloch for... Uh, so what I'm going to play as a 4-4? Four, four? Yes. Yeah, I think the ice is dead. And I will pass the turn. Don't know why I didn't attack with Scrub Ranger. That's okay. You can hit me for one. That's totally fine. Um, like, do you want to wanna attack? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm at 12. That's fine. Okay. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. Oh, now you show up. I see how it is. It's a very weird game. It's a very, weird, <laughs> a very game. weird game. I'm at 12. You can attack me for a billion. I hate that. This has no... It doesn't have a plus one ability. Yeah, I make a 1-1 one, one black death touch wall. 4, 6, 7, 8. You have two mana. Dorat is back. Dorat is back. 1-1 one, one with haste. There's Dorat in here. You're just supposed to kill your Planeswalker. Yeah. Wait a minute. This is why he gave me the attack. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, pass. What is this game? This is like the magic game equivalent of just college kids trying to make a meal out of whatever's <laughs> in the pantry. What do we got? I'm, the, there's pasta. Wait, do we have any lands? Yeah, I got two lands. Yeah, any yeah. of the forest? No. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah. I got pasta. Do we have a pot to boil in? No. no, uh, no. I, I got a frying pan. A frying pan? Yeah, I think we can fill up a frying pan. <laughs> with water? <laughs> we'll just add more if it gets yeah, low. Yeah. We'll just cook it like five noodles at a time. Oh, my God. Um... <clears throat> This is an embarrassing match. <laughs> well, it's one of those moments is like it's a turn four format. You really got to be ready for anything. And you yeah. see this game. <laughs> for what it's worth, I love this game too. These are this is when I think the format shines, you know? Oh yeah, when yeah. it's just garbage. <laughs> uh, 
I will is that attack eight? for no seven. No, for six. Oh, six, even Four, better. Five, six. All right, I go to six. And then I will cast a Fauna Shaman. No. No, I'll I will to, not I'll cast I'll go to that. five. I'll finally. I've been holding it. I've been trying to play around this counter spell oh. for so long. All right, so this gets a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm I'm in. I'll cast uh, Elvish Mystic. All right. All right, go ahead. All right, I'm at five. I, I'm at five. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, young Peasy. Peasy. Okay, I can't ever tap that, so let's do it this way. Uh, opt. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get a plus one, plus one counter. I'm going to get this. Um, and then opt says, look at the top card. You put that card on the bottom. All right, scry one, draw one. I have the old <laughs> yeah, version. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I'm just going to take this Blood Moon and put it on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good call. Well... I mean, it's it. really good. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's. No, I still don't... I just... Yeah, I yeah, need lands. Yeah, yeah. Can you close your eyes really quick? Yeah, sure. I just want to show two cards sure, that have sure, been sure, in my sure, hand sure. since the start of the game. Uh, they both synergize very nicely with land. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go ahead. All right. Uh, cruise. Jesus. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So I'm leaving Unholy Heat and Bolt in my graveyard, mm -hmm. exiling this stack, drawing mm -hmm. three. I have another Elemental. I have another plus one, plus one counter here. Yeah. Can I attack? No, I definitely can't. Uh, but I will say go. Under Mountain Adventurer. Three, okay. four, Vigilance. When it comes to play, we introduce the initiative. Oh, no. And then, hey, we got lands now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my what do you God. Mean, we? <laughs> it's our initiative, comrade. Uh, so here's the initiative that we'll pass back and forth. Yep. Uh, and then we can track our individual like, progression on progression there. Progression through sure. yep. here if we yep. want. Um, I am going to I'm I'm going to start over here. Yeah. Uh, finding a basic land. Okay. Basic forest. It begins. I will play Boom. my basic forest. Yeah. Um, I think I might just pass the turn. Let me look at my hand again. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. Yep. This thing has protection from blue, right? Yes. Shockingly relevant with yes. my, my Dorat. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll crack this. Okay. Getting a steam vents. Uh huh. <laughs> Would you like to cut? No, it's okay. All right. Untaps. Mm -hmm. Untaps. Nothing on my upkeep. Draw for the turn. Uh, basic Mountain. Mm -hmm. 
Ledger Shredder. Yep. So tapping the island and the Shaven Reef. One, two, three, four. Even if I swing out with everything, my blocks are bad and I don't take the initiative for you. So you're untapping with it, which I hate. I hate that. I hate that for me. But I love it for you. <laughs> Go. I only cast one spell off the Ledger Shredder. Yeah, yeah I, that's all you I good? have. You good? Yeah, that's all okay. I have. Uh, I'm going to swap this die for a green die. To represent me, the green player. Yep. Uh, I'm going to move down to the forge. What does that get you? Uh, puts two one one counters on a creature. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put them on Scrib Ranger. This is a problem. Draw. This is a very big problem. Oh no. I'm going to add two green. Yep. And then I'm going to return this forest to my hand yep. using Scrib Ranger to untap the Unmount and, uh, Adventurer. I'm going to play my forest again. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is terrible. One, two, three. I'm going to cast Fierce Empath. Um, is that your first? That's your first spell for the turn. Spell. That's fine. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, trigger. I'm oh! going to Nimble Obstruction as the trigger. Idiot bird. Yeah. So I will draw a card, and you have a one-one. Yeah. It's not. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was a that was not casting a spell, so none of this happens for me. <laughs> God, this is tough. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. You block that, then you block these five, and that's bad. <laughs> well, I can't block that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that's what I mean. Is that you go to one. And I eat and everything you just on the eat ground. everything, yeah. and nobody has trample. Rude. Um, this is a tough game. You have how many cards in hand? Uh, sitting on four cards in hand. Yeah, I'll attack you for three. I go to Here. one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna one, two, three, okay. four, or one, two, three, four, five. No, it's just better if I do this. God, I hate magic. I mean, I don't. <laughs> but <laughs> five. Okay. No, this is bad, Surge. It's just bad. Go okay. ahead. Go. All right. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Chat, I have cards in my hand that you've actually seen if you paid attention a couple minutes ago. Um, they don't really impact the board other than being idiots. And they give Surge an extra creature. Or an, uh, they give Surge an extra counter and draw with the Ledger Shredder. That's bad. <clears throat> they just get blocked. Don't do that. How do I not die to your your flyer? Uh, bolt. <laughs> Chain lightning. Unholy. What is my out here? One, two, three, four, five, six. My only out is flame slash. You got chain lightning, right? I also have chain lightning. Okay, if I don't draw something, I'm dead. Okay. So we're, it's time to do some old degen magic here. Sure. All right. Uh, I'm going to cast back to basics. For the, for, the, for the sake of this, 
Do you want to keep your hand face up? Sure. So we could just... Yeah, see. yeah, yeah. We'll show everything. So my hand right now is a mental misstep. <laughs> uh huh. A remand. Mm -hmm. Back to basics. Two lands. Okay. So we're doing some old school magic here. I'm going to cast a back to basics. Hold priority. Remand it. Okay. So I have a couple of triggers here. I have one trigger on Young Pyromancer, which is going to yep. be another 1-1. One, one. I've cast uh, two non-creature spells. Dorat's going to be a 5-5. Five, five, uh -huh. And I get a connive. Yeah. And I get a draw. Yeah. So the first thing that happens is I cast back to basics. I get a trigger here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm holding priority. I'm casting this. Mm -hmm. So we have the second cast trigger, which is here. Then a player's cast their second spell, so I connive. Yep. Can remind me what conniving does. Uh, you loot, and if you discard a non-land card this way, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ledger Shredder. So loot is I draw, and then I discard. Yes. Draw. Discard this. I mean, no. Discard the mental misstep. Have you played a land this turn? I have not, no. So I like playing the island. I, a, I would discard the wasteland. I'm, it's probably the wasteland, yeah. All right. Discard the wasteland. Now, uh, the stack looks like this. Remand yeah. is going to resolve. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a card. Oh, the Blood Moon! Hey, those two cards are what your deck is. Blue Moon dies with Back to Basics and Blood Moon in hand, eh? Oh. Yeah, that, uh, and that's going to do it. Because I don't, I, don't an I don't have another way to draw. Mm -hmm. You just attack me and I die. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have to attack you. I fire Ice! Oh. No, Fire oh, Ice wouldn't have done it either. Yeah. Yeah, no, Fire Ice is only two damage. Yeah, yeah, you need three. Pro Blue. <sighs> Pro Blue, man! Pro Blue. Now, that, that was a very interesting game. That's I a weird feel, one. I feel as though... I don't know, I was so taxed on resources too. Like, it was very hard for me to develop my side. Yeah. I could have tried to get Young Peasy out earlier, but I was really trying to get some value out of, like, my sensor and stuff like that, because mm. I knew you were so mana low. And then I ended up cycling it away because like the it just never lined up properly. Yeah. Which is really tough there. Jesus. I feel this is a game I'm supposed to win if that doesn't have Pro Blue. I feel like I'm very much advantaged if I have a way if I have an answer for that Scrib Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. If this was a different card. <laughs> you want, you want to, not, to, not to be too harsh, but Yeah, I think yeah. I think blo bottoming Blood Moon was correct. That was like the one scry some options I had there. It's like, it means that I stopped taking damage off my, my reef, but like... It's, it's German. <laughs> That's what got me wrong. Yeah, I will do it to you. Should have been an English one. <laughs> well. Honestly, uh, really fun games. Yeah. Really fun series yeah. of games. Well, thank you. Thank you for the games. Uh, and you, the viewer, thank you for watching. You know, if you like this and want to support us, you can do so in a variety of ways, but most importantly, directly through <laughs> patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, because of all of you, there's all of this. Uh, thanks again, Surge, for fighting me. Thanks again to Ben on tech. Uh, and if you want more information on the format and uh, the deck list we played, you can check in the stuff down below, description, the doodly do. If I may add a thing too, also, I've been loving. Thank you for the positivity. The reception to the show has been amazing. Uh, really appreciate it. If there's decks we haven't played yet you want to see, let us know down there. Just, just. Except for ruin your evening. We know that it'll happen. It'll happen. Uh huh. Got to mentally prepare Surge for that game. I hope you're ready for a three hour game where nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Ben Don't worry about it. Don't worry about audibly it. Audibly whelped off camera. Don't worry about it. Just pack a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until next time. Bye.